Let's continue. Skyward Sword. Pathways opened up, so we're gonna go check that out. And as always, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking this video thing. All right. Housekeeping out of the way. <laughs> but this is part of a longer stream, so... I like to split it. So a VOD isn't like five hours long. A new potion is ready. I already bought one. But thanks. Okay, let's see if we can do any upgrades. Speed. Not quite there yet. Definitely doing that. This just makes catching bugs less awkward. Less stressful now. Uh, what about the shield? I need more tumbleweed. Well, we'll be down in Lanaru later, so... Oh, wait. We got another shield. Sacred shield. How much is it? 300? <laughs> 500. Okay. Later. <laughs> That's the one I'll be working on later, then. I mean, this one's good enough. It's... I should probably repair it, just for good measure. Hey! Repaired. <laughs> okay! Why not? We're good to go now. sky. How to deal with those things. <laughs> I think I just go through them. It doesn't matter. Quick, 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 quick. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the Goddess Master. However, I am unable to determine the means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate.
It's a rotation puzzle. Okay, that one's in position. Which one is it that I'm preventing, though? That's the middle one, that's correct. Okay, that can stop. Uh, just didn't want to register it properly. Okay. That's that. Okay, now this should be it, I think. I need that one to stop, but the problem is both of them stop. They gotta get the correct alignment point. Okay, stop. These two are aligned. Okay, now... No, nope. this one. There we go. They're all aligned now. I love how there's a save point here, but there's not a whole lot of point to it. Time for Fee to dance again, for no reason. <laughs> I forgot about the statues having... The moving mouth. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. 
The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you a melody. It will serve as a key, opening the first trial that awakes you deep in Farron Woods. That song is called Ferora's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Ferora's Courage to memory. You now can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate. I know where it is already. <laughs> Going to have to come back to this island multiple times, so... I forgot how to kill these things. One thing first. Whoops. <laughs> Gonna do this first. I think it might be ready. to do what's wrong you see the party wheel i pinned to the to my back floor of the island oh right without the party wheel there's no way i can make a place where people come to have fun what can i do look for it how am i supposed to get something that fell below the clouds it's impossible okay not now Yeah, I mean, after this, it would seem now. <laughs> oh well. I forgot about the part where I have to go get the wheel. Then again, I could just look up where the wheel is. Where is the wheel? Okay, hang on. 
I've already done this one, so... The party wheel, where is it? The party wheel is in Lanayru. Alright, we'll do that. Lanayru is pretty much right here. Okay, we're going to desert entrance. This one. We need more tumbleweeds as well, so I guess it kind of makes sense to come here. Okay, so apparently it's over here, which is easy. Alright, we'll do it. I forgot about you guys. Where's Tubbs? Oof, that was rough. Be safe to dive into. Okay. Let me just make sure I've got my, my map correct. There's only one way up there, from what I can see. Okay, hold up. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Enjoy the quicksand. Oh, oh fuck these things. <laughs> I 
just hunt you down from the other side of the the map, and they move so quickly. Ah, oh, I wanted that. Okay. There's also a chest down here, so hold up. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Mistress V, you called. Wow, this place seems strangely familiar. Want me to carry this thing? Okay, okay, you just sit tight there and stay out of my way, Master Short Pants. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. I'll just get this chest. That suspense. I think that's it for here. Okay, now to just not die. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. I locked out. Yeah, I'm I'm leaving here. <laughs> Skill. I, that was some juking right there. the premise of this is where they're restoring a casino. Yeah. Here's your wheel thing. If you want something else, just let me know. Just shatters it. Is this? Is this? It is, it is! <laughs> my party wheel! Thank you so much. Now I can realize my dream of opening Fun Fun Island. I'm so happy. And I'll let you be my first customer, young man. Thank you so much. It's going to be fun. Awesome.
car. Yep. You'll be shot out of a cannon. You'll fly away up there. Don't cry, little boy. It's perfectly safe. Mostly. Your goal is to dive onto a cheery, colorful platform rotating board. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, hang on. If you land on the gray space, it's a loser space. Then he gets to reach in and take a handful of rupees. You can risk everything to win big here at Fun Fun Island, but it's a game of luck, so don't come crying if you land on a loser space. When you're diving, super fun fortune rings and dodo balls will appear. If you can pass through one of those fortune rings, you'll increase your multiplier. The more rings you pass through, the slower the speed... Oh yeah, okay. You can't use your cell cloth while diving. Okay. Just the part where he reaches into my pocket, that's, uh... That's questionable. Tilt controls. This feels like it's pilot wings. I didn't land on anything. But he doesn't get to reach into my pocket, so it's fine. No. <laughs> For this, because it's it's otherwise annoying. Yes. Otherwise, it's annoying. I find the diving aspect just really clunky when it comes to motion controls. It just doesn't do what I want it to do quick enough. Ah, oh, freedom. Much better, much better, much better. Fine movements. Okay, I mean, uh, I just need to look where it lands, pretty much. <laughs> Do it again. Yes. I don't think there's any point to this, really. Except money, but... Did that was that was that brown? <laughs> I was trying to uh decrease it, but it didn't work. This is probably not worth it, ultimately. I think all the mini games in this in this game are just rigged. 
Which I guess probably the reason why there's no ah, well there's no heart piece associated with them. Excuse me? What was that? <laughs> I got the big one. <laughs> you landed on the 50 rupee space. Alright, cool. I've got a special prize for people who can pass through five rings without and land on the 50 rupee space. Um. Okay, hang on. What is the special reward? It's a piece of heart. Alright, we have to do this. But now I have money, so... I guess it's just a matter of knowing where it's gonna stop. But hey, I did it. So I know where four rings stops roughly. And I know where three rings stop roughly. Perfection! <laughs> Got it. That's- that's a big prize. 500 rupees. And a heart piece. Alright, we're done with, uh, with this minigame. There's- there's not a chance I would have been able to do this with, uh... With motion controls. Absolutely zero chance. But now we're back to motion controls. I'm gonna do one thing real quick before we go. It's sort of on the way. Now that I, I got a bunch of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, the item check thing, all right. Great. This one. Okay. We're swapping shields to this one because it helps. What's the shield upgrade on this thing? Uh, I need bird feather, dusk relic. Alright. 
Which I think in this area that we're going to, it should be something I'm getting, so. I think the process of getting the Hylian shield is kind of annoying. If I remember correctly, you have to go through a boss rush mode. Which we might do this time, I don't know. I'll have to look into the details of it again, but... Why won't you grab on? There we go. We'll see. more money though. There we go. Okay. I gotta save. I suppose I could keep playing that mini game. It's probably the easiest way to earn money, but for now. Away we go. Oh, it didn't count as a dive. A report, Master Link. I've detected an aura of a trial gate nearby. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I know exactly where it is. It's, it's pretty much just here. Door is sealed shot, but it's here. It's here. Isn't it? And apparently not. We have to do something else before it. it's at the tree then. Any bats? Oh, it's over here. Right, right, right. I remember this aspect. I gotta get the uh, the light.
Something here is reacting to our performance of Ferrara's courage. I've confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from the Isle of Songs. Rush your sword into the center. Straight up Twilight Princess now. <laughs> As I expect that I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as silent realms. They are domains of the spirit, only accessible to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial for all silent realm tests the limit of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. That is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This, in turn, will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as a Tear of Furore. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Do you not see the object glowing in front of you? That is a Tear of Furore. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not a simple task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for a good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protected circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, master. A guard if a guardian manages to even land a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area, fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Got it. thing here I need to get. the gods. What? The unusual liquid substance that covers this area is known as waking water. It has unique properties. If you make contact with order, you, the guardians will immediately be alerted to your presence. Course, course. <laughs> I mean, this is just a race track effectively. Up. 
Balance. What are you? Ugh. Oh, this thing is so annoying. I'm just gonna drop. It's easier to just drop. Make sure I get all of these. It's fine, nice stress, nice stress. Last two are. I just want to make sure dusk. I think all the dusk stuff has been found. Okay. <laughs> the trial will continue until you exit the silent room. Proceed with caution. Okay. I mean, that's fine, just go back the way I came. No panic here. It's fine. No stress. <laughs> Water dragon scale. The sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. Okay, well now I can do one thing that I've wanted to do for a while. Congratulations, Master Link. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. 
The great spirit of the water dragon has provided you with the ability to f swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods, Master. I will conclude that this flame is likely a part of the area you have not yet explored. Uh, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. There must be places in these woods you haven't visited yet. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is just quicker. The two things I want to do. <laughs> Helpful advice. Just repeat what the other one repeated, yeah. I mean, that's why I appreciated Breath of the Wild, because it, it ditched all that stuff. Aside from the start after that, it's just, yep, you find your way. <laughs> you just have to go in here real quick. A greater enemy now. See, I wonder why it would be protecting. Oh, you dick. Know, that there's a couple of reasons. Yo. Hold it. You're that guy that I met in the volcano. Here to do some treasure hunting? Yep. I called it. You got a treasure hunter written all over your face. Did the big stone guy tip you how to get off to Luke guy? Stone guy? Tip? Stone guy? Okay. Right, and then... So how does this work again? No, it's Skyward Strike. So it's like... Shit, that's not what I wanted. I was supposed to draw a diamond, I think. It's okay. Just fantastic. I work like a vessel. Just swipe... Just to swipe a key from that monster, and then I have to lose it. I just can't remember which hole I hit it in. Oh, and here I thought the key would be my ticket to a life of luxury. I could have thought it's when I buried it here. How do you do this? There we go. It's just a little awkward. Oh, 
But I forget what this cave even does, though. I guess there's a reason to repeat dungeons. Anyway. Let's just do this now. Good to see these again. Okay, we are heading straight ahead. Can they reach me from here? No, they can reach me from here. Okay, now they can't reach me from here. Damn it. See ya. Oh. I keep thinking A is to get back up. No joke. For this, you have to go left, right, left, right with the... The Joy-Con. It's like waggling. Otherwise, this doesn't work. Sheesh, I dig some serious miles to get my paws on treasures and I found Scott. Talk about bad luck. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods, but there's nothing but water now. Who in the stinking well will come all this way for water? Nobody, that's who. I'm cutting my losses and heading to her. See ya. I feel like there's a reason you return. What's the name of this temple? Oh. It's now triple, hold on. This is Skyview's temple. So hold up. Sacred water, What what is it used for? There's a reason I'm here, but what, what is it? Sacred Water Skyward Sword. What do you use it for? kind of funny. So here's the funny part is like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing next. I've kind of skipped ahead a little, but it's fine. You know, 
Oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Intentional. Oh yeah, right. Is this is this a thing? Hang on. Okay, it did it did technically work. Whoops. <laughs> I probably should have just kept the sword fight up. <laughs> I would have won. Where am I? Ah, oh, I'm all the way back here. Ah, oh, come on. I wonder what what it's gonna say. The fact that I've kind of jumped ahead. Remember correctly, one of these has a fairy in it. I can't remember which one. One of them does. Come on. I think it was off screen. Uh oh. There it is. Good enough. <laughs> That'll do. What? It hit it for once. That's surprising. Yeah, do it. Hit it. It's fine. I gotta save it outside the door just in case I mess up again, but should be okay. Skip. <laughs> Got away. in case. Ah, should have shouldn't have 
fucking Sigrady. Let me try this. Okay, I mean, sort of worth. This is fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> A little bit injured, but triumphant. Why is this normal water and not sacred water? <laughs> Why is this normal water? Or do I have to go talk to him? I mean, that's funny if I do. Maybe I need to go a little bit closer where the fairy is. Ah, ha ha ha. This is funny because we're unaware of this. My analysis reveals extraordinary concentration of energy. There is a strong likelihood that this energy will be amplified upon contact with an object of conforming wavelength. Wow. Does, is there a way to return quickly? There's no quick return to, to entry. Maybe because I did this out of sequence, like I'm sure. It would have put me outside, but... Okay, we'll just walk it. Mm-hmm. There we go. 
Leave me alone, I just want outside. <laughs> doesn't get him off. It's kind of surprising. Honestly, just easier to do that. I guess there's stuff I could still do. I have the sacred water nonetheless, either way. Nope, see ya. classic fantasy of just swimming through a bubble and <laughs> restoring your air.
It's not coming for me. It is. Okay. Hopefully that's enough of a swing. No, it's not. <sighs> Damn. flipping around oh boy all right how's this gonna work no wait, I know how it's gonna work there we go okay now just The beetle is OP. The beetle is the best item in this game. Just being able to remote control something and then send a bomb that way as well, it's, it's great. And it also has the power to take out enemies. Surely I can just... yep. There. So good to be able to have healing again. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's still not common, but at least it's better than not having it at all. For a while there, I was feeling a bit like a Souls game where you're just waiting for the next campfire to heal. Only the campfire was a chair. Ah, oh, the sound. <laughs> I remember hearing this going, what on earth is this? Uh-oh. Net, net, net. Just get a foldable chair. That would be the best item for this. <laughs> Just a fold-out lawn chair for, from something like Kmart or whatever the equivalent of Kmart is. I think I need to get this. If I'm not mistaken, one of these leads to... Oh, shit. Yeah, hang on. I gotta do this first. Just excuse the shattered knees. It's okay. <laughs> but this must be done since we're here. I knew I forgot something. There's no way back up either. It's just, well, gotta do that again. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, there's even there's there's another one. <laughs> yeah, use gyro. Yeah, use gyro for everything. I know I can turn that off, it's just a comment on the Wii era. Something where the motion would be much more intuitive with an analog stick. <laughs> I give up, I don't care. Just go. Get me in there, I'm gonna run out of air. Those things are common anyway. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, I'm about to go through the magical bubble. Or a magical bubble is about to disappear. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, I gotta do this again. <laughs> I think whatever the next generation of motion controls is for a Nintendo console, it should be fine. It's gonna be based off whatever whatever technology we have for stuff like VR controllers where it's aware of the 3D space it's in and it doesn't get lost. At least I would hope so. I don't know. Alright, the other one is to the right. I mean, maybe I can get it. Oh no. Right, these things are back. Why does it stop randomly? It just sounds like a wounded animal or just... It almost sounds like a stomach grumbling as well. I just, I hate the sound this thing makes. And the worst part about it was just how it moves around in your headphones. You can't get it out of your head once it's in. Oh no. Okay. Get rid of the shield first, then move back. Okay. 
All right, now we. Oh shit! Nope. Bye. <laughs> See you later. I'm not getting knocked down. There is no reward in, in beating him. There's two. There's two spots. Ugh. Okay. What is that shield called? The sacred shield, I think? Yeah, sacred shield. Oh, wait, this is a bug. I said roll into it, not... There we go. <laughs> you have reached the top of the tree. From this vantage point, you can get a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area not yet explored. I can't believe that's the sound of that thing speaking. I mean, sleeping. Mars, look up there. I have confirmed the discovery of a new Kikui. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we've been hearing were the loud snores of this Kikui. Who's it? I'm napping. Was that you say? Say, you got a familiar face. Have you and I met before? Nah. Hi. Ah, maybe so. Maybe so. This must be what folks call deja vu. Creepy. But forget all that nonsense and tell me. What does a real human, real life human, have in these woods? The flames. Yeah. Out questing for a flame to enhance your sword so that you can find someone important to you, yeah? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame. Listen, do you promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious. Okay. Alright, I'll tell you. But remember, it's a secret to everybody. Ha 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 ha. They said the line. The flame you seek is most likely Feroz flame. Yes. Yes, Ferora's flame. That story begins very long ago when the goddess was still with us. Wait. Do you snore pretty badly, confirm me, or is it just... Make noises like that, but not necessarily snoring. I've, I've experienced both, where it's loud snoring or people talking in their sleep. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. The way I hear it, she left the flame in the care of the water dragon. So that one day, a mighty dragon, or the mighty dragon, could pass it on to the one from the sky. You see, I've got a hunch that the goddess was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles that. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Her lair is deep in a lake in the south of these woods. She watches over the flame there. There's a problem though. The gate that leads to that lake is shut to all those judged unworthy. But don't worry, I'll let you in on the trick to opening the gate. 
To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into a symbol carved into the doors. Oh, but that isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock that gate, you must have make the symbol whole. The only way you'll know what the complete symbol should look like is to first find the same completed symbol somewhere else in these woods. The gate down south, it's likely that the matching symbol is somewhere up north. Oh no. Ah, uh, got it. Oh, wait up. I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about mana, so watch yours. I've heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as mid-morning snacks. I probably taste like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal. So don't let her know I told you about the flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hole, you'd better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. I'll be here napping if you need any of my elder wisdom. See you around. You told you sound like you're on the cusp of death and struggling to breathe. Is... Is that... I mean, that could very well be just a problem with your nose. Like, my brother had to have uh, a surgery to fix that, and when he got it done, it, uh... It definitely improved his breathing quite a bit. I forget what it's called. Okay, I think it makes sense to do this one first. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no! Ah! <laughs> Crap. I was slightly to the right. Well, I messed that one up. I mean, I can get there with the hook shot later. What about this one? It's not really a rush or anything. That one, I feel like the only way to get it is to drop from above. Shove your face into the couch and occlude all pathways of breathing. Ah. <laughs> I kind of got used to... I, I don't think it, it bothers me too much. Because, uh... I used to stay with an aunt. And she... Man, her snoring. Was something else. So I guess you kind of get used to it. Also living near train tracks as well growing up, it's just... I think that's why once I get to sleep, I sleep, because... It's just conditioning. The environment that I grew up in, there was just a lot of loud ambient sounds from different sources. I won't go for the hookshot one, I'll go for the other one. Because the hookshot one, don't have to climb this. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, if it's like a, a snoring thing, sometimes it's a result of... I forget, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but, you know, there's a surgery you can get that helps. It might not necessarily fix it, it just depends if if that's the root cause or not. Oh, 
Oh. I don't want to drop. Okay, now. Okay, so a multitude of different reasons that could be the snoring. I mean, that's fair. I wish I didn't have to deal with this every time. Uh oh. Net, 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 net. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're still there. Did they respawn? I might save it when I get up there, just in case I mess up. If I mess up, then I'm just going to load it again. <laughs> It'll save me uh, five minutes. I hope that the guard is... No, okay, guard is still here. So we have to do the same maneuver. Throw all your shield. Okay. Hold on. Stay there. I said stay there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> the nipples. <laughs> uh dear. Well, I mean, they're covered. They are the, the nipple decorations of a warrior tribe. Can I even drop to there? <laughs> yeah, let's just do this. So then I don't have to climb this tree again if I fail. <laughs> but maybe I can't actually do this. Okay, hold up. I mean, that one I could, I could reach. I just have to angle it correctly, but this one... It looks like there's, there's a different way up. Otherwise, I'd be able to drop to it from here, but it doesn't look like it. Like, that is not gonna work. All right. Well, I guess I'm going for this one again. Okay. Uh, does this look more or less correct? I think so. Okay. Nailed it. 
Hookshot? What hookshot? Yeah, you can't. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to get that one later. The other symbol's just here. That this is the symbol that the hermit was describing. Memorize its shape. It's just it's just missing the circle, right? I mean, I know the symbol. I just wanted to get the health. Damn it. I thought that was enough. Get on. Okay. I think the control, that's better. It was just off center again. So bad with navigation. All right, now I'm not going to get lost. <laughs> there we go. I've been watching a lot of One Piece lately because I've never watched it before, so I've gone on that journey. But there's a character in there that no matter what just gets lost with directions. And I just feel like that character. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, fine. Recenter. Ah, oh, motion controls, please. Center. Up. There we go. Okay. There we go. And I have to... Do you think it's gonna recognize my my circle? <laughs> yeah, that's what I drew. Perfect. Easy circle.
Lake Floria? I guess this is what it was called before, Lake Hylia. Another human. Okay, okay. I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. Head suspiciously look like a key. Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell... Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, about your little incursion. Kaha, didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're going to be able to follow me now. So what now? Are you going to cry? If you think you can make it through, just go ahead and try. I thought for sure it'd be a bomb thing. Hang on, it's... Yeah, that torpedo. Oh no, I just remembered something. I just remembered something. <laughs> this was clunky. Because you have to use it to do like a, a jump thing. There we go. God, how is that even possible? I've never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait, that's a water dragon skill. Does that make you the emissary of the goddess like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her excellence. Take me to her. Yeah, about that. It happened really recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter and boy did she gobble up those monsters in a few seconds. The thing is, there were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So could you please go talk with her excellence and see if you can help her out? I'll even take you to her. Follow me. I feel like in the time that it took to get that explanation out, Link would have drowned. Just saying. It has Majora's Mask vibe? Which part? The spin? I remember I struggled with the spin maneuver. I was expecting to meet up with a friend here and the path is blocked by a huge boulder. Lovely, now what do we do? That's using a noodle. Her excellence is just up ahead. Over this way. Uh, hold up. Is there anything else I need to do here? There's more. There's more here. She can wait. There's a few paths I can take here. Don't eat me. I won't eat you. I've been hiding ever since that school of scary looking fish swam through. So we just ruined your hiding spot now.
I blew that cover. <laughs> Didn't get it. Okay, hold up. I need air. I need air. <laughs> you can hear the struggle already. Get, get that one! There we go. Okay. Turn, turn around, turn around, turn around. That's just a bonus. It's not really necessary. Still worked. <laughs> Still worked. Uh oh. Air, yeah. air, air, air. <laughs> All right, now we can follow them. this part, but... Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I did not enjoy this part at all. It's, it's that. That's what I need to do. Maybe it's easier now. Okay, I need to... <laughs> Drop up and... Ah, nearly. <sighs> Maybe I should completely turn off motion controls for this part. I just didn't, I did not like this one bit. There we go, got it. Wow, perfect jump. I'd call you amazing, but I think we both know that it was the water dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. I just barely made it as well. I need to do it again. Shit. Got it. I think I have what's required to upgrade the sacred shield, so... If I can be bothered, there's... Ah, not quite. Okay. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh wait, it's that. It's over there. Okay, turn around. Down. And up. Yikes. Oh, they're back. That's one of the fish that the widow brought here and used to attack her excellence. Watch out. They're as mean as they come. Uh-oh. Well, the goddess sure knows how to pick them. You did great. Just as I was running out of air... <laughs> Fine. That's fine. No problems here. Wait, is this stuff here? Oh, come on. I'm better than that. Oops. Can I just grab the ledge, please? I just, I just want to clear suspicion. Okay. Yeah? I'll take that. I mean, other than that, there's nothing else here. Alright, down we go. At last, we're here. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is just up ahead. Hang on a second. Please come in. I mean, advanced technology, that's effectively a biometric lock. Because <laughs> it requires a being to unlock. gonna have a quick look around first. over here. There's another chest over there. Okay. But no cube.
Ooh, how do I get up there? Ah! Okay, hang on. Probably simple. <laughs> Turn around. Up. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. I think I need those for the shield as well, later. Nailed it! Alright. Ah, you there, human. You have intruded into my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as you, and yet, here you stand. You will explain how you got here, and quickly. Water dragon? I am. Those with manners address me as Farron. Warden of the Woods, I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Hmm? Oh. I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero. Could you really be him? That This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. How did you find me? Ah, yes, that cackling old hermit Kikwi told you where I lived, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Oh, but I digress. You've come here seeking a sacred flame, have you? Of course. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. I stood against his self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I have been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished and I am now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bar. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? Got it. I am analyzing the water in this basement. Its unique properties match the water you collected at the Skyview Spring. Already did it. How's that for confident? What's this? You have a bottle of the sacred water I seek here with you? Go on, pour it into my basin. Yeah, that, that saves a bit of time. Awesome. Mmm, exquisite. I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of Farron, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, healed, and once again whole. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now that it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favor that you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Um. Now behold. Um. Oh. 
go. The sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in, and inside, they flourish. <laughs> ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Swatting a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. Farewell, boy. Okay. Where are we up to? I mean, after reading that, I think I don't need to say. <laughs> it's here. We are here. And about to enter a dungeon. Is this for real or... Hang on. Come here. Come here. No, that's not what I want. Come here. Come here. Got it. This one might be for real. Alright. This place is really nice looking. Water temple! <laughs> Do I really have to do that maneuver to get up here? Oh, come on. All right. I don't have much memory of this one, so... I'm hoping once I get in there, I'll remember. Vaguely... Yeah, okay. No. This place is cool, though. This is a bait from memory. Yeah. It's like greed, you'll pay for it. Going for it, don't close your hand. I hate doing this. Alright. Up! Oh no, piranhas, right. Get out. Strike the gemstones pointing in four directions wisely. 
The way will only open for one who knows the temple's secret order. I feel like I brute forced this the first time I came here. Because there was no downside. I'll look for it this time, <laughs> but I think I brute forced it the first time. Temple's secret order. Something's going to reveal it. Progress this way. It's got to be nearby. Because I can't go into any, any other room. What is this secret order? Uh oh, get out. Out, I said out. Am I, am I really going to brute force this? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, shit, no. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it on the left now? Or the right? Okay, hang on. Don't work. I thought maybe going with the opposite direction of the jewels would work. But I haven't seen any clues, that's the thing. If there was to be a clue, I would imagine it would have to be in this room here.
I'm gonna drive myself crazy. <laughs> I don't see anything. Gotta be something else I've missed. I'm having a look. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be anything else here. The soundscape is nice here. This is one of the nicer themes in this game. Am I really gonna go back to brute forcing this? It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Top, bottom, left, right. I'll remember it. Top, bottom, left, right. This is the best item in the game. Wait, that one? The spider just... what? The spider fell into the water <laughs> on its own. It's in the main room. Where would it be in the main room? I mean, I'll look. When I go to the main room, I'll look. Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay, okay. There's a passage. I just need to dive onto that thing to flip it. Holy crap, that's scary. The stamina thing applies to swimming as well, I think. The, the drain. So I think I have less air to breathe because of hero mode. Okay, now we can go through the middle. So, I mean, unless I'm wrong, I have, I'm past, I'm well past the halfway mark now. I guess because some of the areas that I struggled with the first time I played this, I knew what to do, so I've gotten through it a lot quicker.
but I think I'm, I'm pretty far into this. And it's only been a couple days. Carved into the Great Statue are inscriptions of... <laughs> so you had to piece this together. So this hand reveals it. How on earth? All right, whatever. I know what it is anyway. Top, bottom, left, right. So. When it's only something like say a combination of three or four, it's not too bad to brute force it. You have pretty good odds of getting it. It's whenever it's anything higher than four, that's when it's not worth it. Is this this? No, it's not. I guess just drop. Ooh, I remember you. So I hit the mic, sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so you know, sword fighting, I'm definitely doing a lot better than original the original playthrough. <laughs> I shouldn't have been afraid to afraid of sword fighting. Oh, wanker. Might have to heal. hard. Sometimes going from one gesture to the other, it, it's a little, a little jank. But it definitely works better than flicking the analog stick, I think. Alright, try again. Except now I have less health, but, you know, whatever. I'll deal with that. Center it again, center it again. Alright, here we go. Shit. Fuck. 
how that works. And he's doing that slashing thing to a Skyward Strike. Yeah, that works. That works really well. the part where I need to be more careful. Not quick enough. <laughs> Fun though. Nothing. It's good to see this return. thing. What about you? Ah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we're not supposed to go here yet. It'll stop in a minute, I think. <laughs> it's okay. I stopped at the last second. for a pile. <laughs> oh. There you go, we can see that. I don't think there's any point to this right now. shallow enough.
That's all I need to do here. For now, let's just trust that I've done the right thing. I don't think I can get up there just yet. But it's set up nonetheless. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, come on. This is how you deal with these things. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say. It doesn't look like I can go through here yet. Despite just getting the whip. Alright, go back. Whoops. Ah, the instructions are the. Okay. It's not the statue. They're on. I see. Okay. Well, go. Yeah. There's more than one way to solve the puzzle. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with trial and error. There's anything else to do here? Let's see. Now it looks like this is done, so what? I must have missed something in the main chamber. I'll go have a look. I probably can't get up that left side, I just needed to look closer.
Oh, haha. -ha. That's what it is. Stop, 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 solid. Still got a long way to go before I can afford Beatles thing. Please don't be love heart. That's the one. Just... <laughs> I want money. I must get closer to purchasing that heart piece. There. I thought I was above it. <laughs> Did not climb high enough. There we go. Okay. Recover stamina and go. trying to achieve here. this reach? Oh, 
Oh no, I see. straighten it out. That. that work ah. Need it a little bit more am I ever complicating this hang on Is there a ledge here? Okay, there's no ledge, but I feel like I should be able to leap sideways. I don't know. There's no way this is this difficult. I just can't get the dryer to register at the right time. Don't let go. It doesn't wanna... It doesn't wanna jump sideways. Oh, that's annoying. No, it doesn't do it. So I have to pretty much land on it, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just go for it right away. I just feel like I can't get the gyro to put the rope in the right spot, so hey. I might have to swap to just non-motion controls for a minute. Longer than I needed to. Hmm. <laughs> I 
I like that the music changes tone when you do that. Get mad. Oh, we just ignore the archer behind us? Okay. Ah, no. I'm sure he's not going to shoot us in the back. That's fine. <laughs> really? seem to target it. Is there anything above? No. Okay. How do I make this work? You love this dungeon? This dungeon's pretty good. Hey, Cookie. Music is good, too. Oh, I see the ledge over there. Can I move this along? No. That's... You slept 10 hours, you feel great. Good. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Did I just hit my head on the concrete and just... Well, brick, whatever, the floor, and just dive back in? That looked painful. It's like Link bounced off the tiles. Well, I've got a week off, so, you know... Dedicate that to some. Why would you dive into the lily pad? <laughs> I'm gonna dedicate some time to this. I just took two extra days off work and then. 
And it means I gotta practically a wake off. No. No, 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 no. Nope. See ya. <laughs> okay. No hearts. I mean, at least I'm finding them now, so that's a huge step in the right direction. Hello, Hi Hypercurvy. Welcome. How's it going? Thanks for popping in. This is fine. It's fine. We're okay. What am I looking at here? Oh. Let's see, this is gonna... Yeah, let's go up for air. <laughs> we have a bit of a, a problem here because less stamina. Okay, let's not spin into them. I don't know why I thought doing a Crash Bandicoot was gonna work. Just avoid... Ah, puffed up. <laughs> Doing good, playing Sparks of Hope. Oh, cool. I haven't played that one myself, but I did mess around with the uh, the previous one. It's one of those ones that I would like to check out, but there's just so much I got to do. But I have heard that it's got a lot of improvements over the original. Rip E3? No, no, no. It's not Rip E3. It's Rip the corporate event that is hosted by the venue, but companies are doing their own live show. In fact, um, the people that usually do the Game Awards are doing a live stream. And there's going to be a bunch of announcements happening there, so it's just like... It kind of makes sense, it's just... The physical location where people would go visit a venue and pay for tickets... Companies just aren't interested in that anymore because... They'd rather hold a live stream and then... They don't have to pay for a venue and also probably can do whatever they want with money. It just makes sense, I don't think... Either Three will ever come back. But it's understood that that time of year is for game announcements, so that's still going to happen. Nintendo will do a direct, Sony will do their presentation as usual, and then everything else will be at Jeff Keighley's thing. E3 got... No, no, it's not getting moved at all. Like, it's... What I'm saying is, um, Jeff Keighley's gonna do something, still. He's already announced it, I think. Hang on. What, what are they doing for E3? Hang on. Don't- I put the controllers down, they're hanging off my wrists, and they started doing that. Because it interpreted it as a spin. <laughs> um, I need to look that up myself. He announced it on Twitter, so hold up. Um, Summer Game Fest, June 8th. So that's what's happening. It's going to be on June 8th. So that's the event that he's making instead of E3. So, yeah, Sony will do their thing. Microsoft will probably do their own thing as well. The big three will probably do their own thing, and then everything PC related will be at that, uh, the Summer Games thing. But it's all during the E3 week.
you're talking about the Game Awards. No, I know. I just meant, I just wanted to clarify that. I didn't mean that uh, E3 got moved. It's just, instead of doing the whole physical venue thing, it's, everyone's just doing live streams. That's it. They're not paying the e the venue and the company that does E3. I mean, yeah, they don't need to anymore. Nintendo had already broken off and doing their own thing before the pandemic, and I think the pandemic just pretty much brought the death of it forward. It was always going to happen. But it'll be a good week, either way. Like, just watch streams and stuff will be announced like normal. Oh, is that one already done? Did I mess? Oh, I messed up. That one's already done. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. But yeah, I mean, it should be good. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to announce from a Nintendo perspective because Tears of the Kingdom is the big one, and then it's. The only other one they haven't talked about is Metroid Prime 4, so that's the hope that I have. If not that, I don't know what what they would be revealing. There is a rumor that Retro is working on something else aside from Prime 4, but I don't know. It's probably time that Mario got another game as well. So maybe that, but it's hard to say. Did I finish Spirit Tracks? I did, Jeffrey. <laughs> I did. I just, uh, I'm going to be honest, I did not enjoy the final fight just because of that microphone flute thing that just would not register. I spent 20 minutes trying to do the last song. 20 minutes. Maybe 25 minutes, but it was quite a while. Part of you hopes you get a new console soon. Um, my prediction is the con whatever Nintendo is doing next from a console perspective will be announced at the end of the year, and then it'll release next year in March. Pretty much following what they did with the Switch. They've already confirmed with interviews that for this fiscal year, keyword fiscal, there won't be a new console. So, I don't remember when the fiscal year ends in Japan, but effectively it means it's gonna be whenever the next fiscal year is. Because it's always stuff like that, they use cheeky wording. I'd be surprised if they didn't do something. Because the Switch is... This is year six of the Switch now, right? Maybe Tears of the Kingdom is a swan song. May maybe. Maybe. I'm kind of willing to believe that um, Metroid Prime 4 will be whatever. It's going to release on both systems. So it'll be kind of like what happened with Twilight Princess, where it started as a GameCube game, and then they released it on the Wii and GameCube. I think that's going to happen with Metroid Prime 4. Just because of its cycle now where it's gotten delayed and at this point it's probably going to come out roughly the same time when they're releasing a new console anyway. Which is probably why they haven't shown it or talked about it since. Since they did that announcement about the delay, there's just been nothing about it. What? Oh, pull. 
No, like that. What? Up? No. Down. There we go. <laughs> I mean, aside from a new Nintendo console, what, it, what do you think is going to happen at E3 this year? Predictions. It's not that far away. It's like... Two months. It's it's really not that far away. I mean, I think uh, for PC, Starfield is like going to be the thing, and maybe seeing more of the new Elder Scroll games that they got developed. A new Mario. I think it's about time for a new Mario, but. Don't know with Nintendo. Like, sometimes they just pull a surprise out of nowhere. I mean, look, take the remaster of Metroid Prime, right? It's. People knew that it existed, but not in that way, you know? People did not expect that level of remaster. But I mean, if you look at the franchises and representation, um, we technically haven't gotten a Donkey Kong game. Tropical Freeze doesn't count because that's a Wii U game and it, it just got ported over. But I mean, other than that, the only missing franchise is Star Fox, which... I mean, stranger things have happened. Met 2D Metroid had a break for the longest amount of time, and it came back. Uh, a lot of people want F-Zero to make a comeback. But I don't know if they would do that, because it might cannibalize Mario Kart a little bit. Because what, like after, after Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin 4, what, what's left for them to release that they haven't revealed? It's just Metroid. So they would have to be talking about something new. Or DLC for existing games? I don't know. The one game that I want to see is, uh, that I've been looking forward to for a while, uh, Silk Song. It's, based on what they showed last year at the Xbox thing, it said that the games featured at that event were going to be releasing, sorry, not releasing, be playable before the end of June this year. And Silk Song was there. Animal Crossing? Yeah. I don't know. Would they do, would they do a new Animal Crossing? I don't really have much experience with the Animal Crossing series, so has any console gotten two Animal Crossing games? I mean full-fledged ones. Like I know that there's uh there's kind of I don't know what you would call them, like sub games. Where am I supposed to be going? I'm supposed to be going underneath the earth. The DS did, the 3DS did, but was it a full Animal Crossing game or you're talking about Happy Homemaker, which wasn't that just designing homes and nothing else? There it is. I was supposed to drop. Okay. The DS was Wild World, and 3DS was New Leaf. But they're two separate consoles. That's not the same thing. That's like saying the Wii and the Wii U are the same console. They're not. Those are two different consoles, so it doesn't count.
I don't think there's ever been two Animal Crossing entries. How on earth do I kill these things? I mean, I did get rid of the other one. I think it... Maybe it needs specifically the finishing move. It just doesn't let me lock on. That. Did that work? Yeah, it works. Alright, fatal blow only. It's not really unheard of, like it could happen, but likelihood. Alright, one line of games that I would love to see come back. Uh, the Mario and Luigi series. But I know that the developer of it, they went under. But that doesn't mean they can't give them to someone else. But I would love to see Mario and Luigi come back. That, that series was great. No, no, no. Oh, no. I see. I need to get to that platform over there. Okay. I, I just vaguely recall this dungeon. If they announce a Mario and Luigi game, you will eat grass. <laughs> I mean, if you were to tell me that in the Switch era we got a 2D met a new 2D Metroid and a new 3D Metroid, I would not have believed it. And re-releases as well, like in remaster. We got a remaster, a new game, a new 3D game, and a new 2D game. Given how long Metroid has gotten nothing. Oh, that's terrible. Please recognize that. Okay. Well, that sucked, but okay. Detective Pikachu 2. Didn't that movie get canceled? We're already getting a new Zelda. But it's not out... That's the thing. It's not out of the question to get another Zelda because there's two kinds of Zelda, remember? There's 2D and there's 3D. And because... Because of how uh, it is now, the 2D ones typically came out on the 3DS or their portable console. But because the Switch is one of the same now, I feel like it wouldn't be out of the question for them to also be developing a a 2D Zelda, despite Tears of the, the Kingdom coming out too, soon, right? Because they were developing Tears of the Kingdom, but they also released Link's Awakening in that time. So I wouldn't be surprised if a big one, I doubt it's going to happen, but I would love to see it. Uh, take what they did for Link's Awakening and do it for Oracle of Seasons and Ages. And do like a definitive edition of Oracle of Seasons and Ages. That'd be amazingly good. A, wait, what did it say? There's a gemstone hidden deep within the eye. 
Oracle remakes would make me insane as well. Like, I love those games. I think, from, from a portable sense, my favorite games are um, Link Between Worlds and the Oracle of Seasons and Ages. The stuff that Oracle of Seasons and Ages did was ahead of its time. In the Eye. I think I need to do, yeah. Want a new Mystery Dungeon or a better remake of Explorer of the Sky because Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX was meh. Yeah, I mean, could happen. That's up to the Pokemon hat company, I guess. There it is. I don't... The thing is, the Pokemon games usually have their own events separately. Um, they don't typically get announced at E3. I'm not sure about Mystery Dungeon, but... I guess if there was one of those to be announced, it would have happened already. Okay, and then what? I can take this now. The other possibility that people have been asking for, I don't believe they're going to do it, but it's a possibility, is just bringing Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD to, uh, to the Switch. It, it's an option that's available. I'm not convinced they're going to do it, because typically when they release these revisions, they usually do something extra that wasn't on the Wii U, and I'm not sure they can do anything else on top of what they've already done. And this is one of those things where I feel like they would want to release it as a full price game, but if they just re-release the Wii U version with nothing else, I don't think people would want to pay it. Or at least would get upset and probably still pay it. That's why I don't think those two games are going to come out on the Wii on the Switch. That's just a hunch. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love those games on the Switch because whilst I've already played them, played them, having them on the Switch is just a better convenience than having the Wii U. But they didn't really have anything too crazy that required the second screen. They didn't really take advantage of it. Which was kind of surprising. Especially Wind Waker, that would have been great. To be able to draw on the map, kind of like you do in Phantom Hourglass. See ya. Hey, Monolith, what's up? How's it going, dude? I mean, uh, aside from, you know, what you were talking about in Discord, hope everything is all good. Where am I going now? I think I need to ride it all the way around. All right. Drop. Okay. 
Wait, do I need to do this again? No, yeah, I do. Because now... Uh, everything's fine, quarter early. Okay, nice. Yeah, that stuff's scary. I'm just kicked off, kicking off my extra long weekend. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's effectively a week off. I took two extra days. Because, uh, yeah, Easter is coming up, so if I take two days off, I end up with basically a week off work. Just chilling at your desk, about to make coffee, nice. Yeah, we were just talking about, um, I guess, we're still referring it as E3, but it's not really E3 anymore. It's just what's going to happen in the first week of June, more or less. <laughs> Predictions. Do I just keep climbing? Is it safe to ignore them? Jeez, this is like a horror movie. <laughs> I love how the stamina just stops here. Return the stone giant to its original form. Descend below the earth along the thread. There you'll find the key. Okay, so... And I did this part already. <laughs> this dungeon is pretty cool. Even though it's technically a water temple, and traditionally I, I don't like them, <laughs> but this one's not bad. Okay, I should save at this point. Never really made events like E3 a priority, figured to catch the highlights later. I, I mean, I, I like watching it just because I, I talk about them with people. I always like talking about stuff. Um, and I guess when you're a streamer, you have to be a little bit aware of those things. Waiting for D4 in June. Yeah, that's right, D4 in June. I mean, I want to play that too, but... This should be okay now, right? Yeah. Is there any downside to getting this? Blessed Idol. Okay. Yep. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what is the point of that? Does anyone stay there and fight? Okay. Alright. We're done here. This was a cool fight. I think out of all the fights, this was my favorite. It felt pretty satisfying to fight. Okay. And it's also the best key as well, because it's so easy to discern which way it goes. 
unlike the other ones. We go. Struggling through Stone Tower Temple last time you did it, you used a guide. <laughs> oh no. I've been okay. I mean, I've in the interest of getting through this game quicker because I've already done my blind playthrough of this. Every now and then I'll be like, "All right, where was this again?" And I, it's not that I, I don't remember. I don't remember the finer detail. You certainly are persistent. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that would help me revive the Demon King. Your incessant buzzing around my head. Like some irksome gadfly. When I'm this busy, it is well. It's making me very disagreeable. This fight is cool. <laughs> Help him revive the Demon King. <laughs> Anarchist. That's like... Anarchist. Alright, the whip. Forgot. I forgot it's not up to this part yet. It's... I got ahead of myself. I wish you could use its own arm to beat it. Yeah, double. I think I can stab it now. Let's see. It's okay, we're fine. I will heal through the pain. So satisfying. 
It's my fault. What's my fault? <laughs> hey, Carol. What did I do or didn't do or did but didn't do or did but didn't do but then did also because I was lying about not doing it. I made you buy Skyward Sword again, but this is a good remake. Remaster, whatever you want to call it. It's good. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to assume that this form... This form right here... It does four hearts per hit. Oh shit, what have I done? What have I done? Whip, 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 whip. This is so satisfying. This fight is so good. <laughs> Want the sword and tears of the kingdom? I mean, just pick up a stone pillar and a stick and it'll be the same thing. No, wrong thing. How do you like me now, motherfucker? I don't think giving the giant golem a blowjob will do anything. Oh, ha ha ha. Mine, 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 mine. best fight in this game, I think. And this just it went a lot better because of motion controls. It's so well choreographed, I think. There's, there's no frustration because it's pretty straightforward to figure out what you need to do. And it, it just uses the gimmick of like, you know, swiping the sword. Pretty well.
yeah, the whip was good as well, just how it handles. It felt good. <laughs> Flame number one acquired. And now for some interpretive dance. Raise your sword, master. Do people consider the Stone Temple to be the hardest Zelda dungeon, or just the hardest 3D dungeon? I don't know. I mean... Ranking? It, it's from person to person, I think. It's just... You're a product of your own experiences, and sometimes maybe things in 3D don't correlate properly. Maybe things in 2D don't correlate properly. Maybe you're familiar with certain puzzles because you grew up playing games that have similar puzzles, but it's one of those things where the concept of hardest is relative. Generally speaking, I mean, the, N the Nintendo 64 Water Temple is considered the hardest just because of how annoying it is. It's not to say that it's... I think its difficulty stems from the fact that it's just... It's cumbersome. But I don't know about, like, um, mechanical difficulty. Not sure. That is, that is all relative, in my opinion. The flames of Furore have improved your sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. Like, I'll tell you right now, the final fight in this game, I found it really difficult. And I guess that was just because I was using analog sticks and that just didn't click with me. Just that way of fighting, flicking the stick in a certain direction, it just didn't, it didn't click. And so that fight was really hard for me. So I don't know how it's going to go with motion controls. Maybe it might change my mind about how difficult that fight is. The Sacred Flame has purified your blade, enhancing and evolving it. With your sword now enhanced, you are ready to learn the new melody. We should return to the Isle of Songs. Here's my take on Zelda and dungeons. I don't find any of them difficult. I think the way I rank them is more in terms of tediousness. I think they all have the same difficulty. For me. It's just... How annoying is it to get through it? Like, what parts... Are you doing backtracking, or maybe having to swap between items constantly? That's the way that I grade them, as opposed to difficulty, because I think they're all the same in terms of difficulty, to be honest. Once you get up to the boss, you typically just use the item you found in the dungeon, and then it's pretty straightforward. The sword you carry is different since Alasso. Yes, I see it is much improved. To think the goddess's chosen hero is but a mere boy. Quite a twist! Chosen hero or not, you do not yet possess the strength required to wield the full power of that blade. You must train yourself further, devote yourself wholly to this task. Farewell, boy. You did the Water Temple in the 3D version. Yeah, do you know the 3DS version has markings on the wall so you know what to do? and where to go and it's also you have a bottom screen dedicated to your inventory so you don't have to keep bringing up the menu the nintendo 64 version does not have any of that and that's why it's annoying because you get lost you have to bring up you have to pause to bring up the map figure it out close the map you don't have a constant reference to the map and there's nothing that marks a clear path at any given point So it's all off how well you remember the dungeon. Yeah, the iron boots, exactly. You have to swap. There's no convenience for swapping to the iron boots. It's 
If, otherwise, it's the sa it's effectively the same dungeon, and the reason you find it easy is because all the cumbersome stuff is gone. But the reason that that dungeon is infamous is for the Nintendo 64 version. It's just... It becomes a headache if you're not ready for it. Also, some people consider Zelda 2 the hardest Zelda game. I don't, I don't know. I don't see it. I think that one comes from a place where people maybe don't play platformers, and... I found it to be fine because I grew up on platformers. I played games like Mega Man, I played Castlevania, I played Mario 1, 2, and 3. And if you played those games... Wait, what did, what did she just say? I kind of missed what she just said. She said put a, she wanted me to put a marker somewhere. Oh, put a mark. So just putting a marker here, I think, is what she said. So we know how to get back. Probably not a bad idea. Maybe. But I feel like it's straightforward. Anyway, um... Nearest save point is this way. I think it'll be kind of neat for me off, uh, once I've done this. I can... Because I've played through every... At that point, I will have played through every single Zelda game in mainline except one. So I could, I could probably, like summarize and rank them and just talk about my experiences in each of them because some of them i can talk from a nostalgia perspective and some of them in terms of experiencing them for the first time yeah. there, there was a few I'm just gonna save here, chat. Give me a sec. Also, hello, Sandy. How's it going? Uh, now, I am going to continue because I don't have work tomorrow. We will continue, but I need to do a small intermission chat, if you don't mind. I just want to refill my water bottle, but uh, also stretch my legs, as I've been sitting here for three hours, I think, roughly since last time I got up, so I'm going to do that right now. It'll be just a couple of minutes. So get a snack or something, and uh, we'll continue onwards. But if you are watching this on YouTube later, this is where we bid farewell. But, you know, hope to see you in the next one, and thanks for clicking. All right, bye, YouTube. Say bye, chat. <laughs> anyway, see ya.